Zone 5. Micah Sale from New York City with a question for Charlie um, about the hundred or so models we ought to have in our head Here we go. Um, mentioned at the end of the uh, excellent worldly wisdom speech. Um, I'd like to know the most useful models on industry consolidation, uh, on product extension, on vertical integration, and any models which explain the special cases when it makes sense to invest in um, retailing stocks. And if Warren has anything to add or subtract, I'd love to hear it. Thank you very much. Well, I'm glad to answer such a modest question. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke about having a hundred models in your head, but those are all great big models of, of uh, considerable generality that are useful over and over again. Now, you're down into very complex sub-modeling when you get into a separate model for what's going to happen in uh, uh, industrial consolidations and, and uh, retail and so on. And uh, I'm not up to all those sub-models. The truth is, you know, we're up to a few, and, and, but we take the general models and, and, and you know, plug them in and sometimes the light goes on and sometimes it doesn't. But um, if, it, if it does, they, they, they could be quite useful. But, uh, uh, if you focus, uh, you do see repetition uh, of, of, of certain business patterns and business behavior. And Wall Street tends to ignore those, incidentally. I mean, they, Wall Street uh, really uh, doesn't seem to learn for very long uh, business lessons. It may not be to their advantage to learn it. Charlie would, that would probably plug right into Charlie's model. It, it's, you bet. Yeah, <laughs> it's better to, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, if you're out selling the future, it may be better to forget the past if you're getting paid on selling it and not on, uh, not on betting your life on it in some way. Uh, one, one situation at Berkshire that really is somewhat different than many companies, we assume, and I'm, unfortunately it's an error, but we assume we'll be around forever. So when we, are in our insurance business, we assume we're gonna be here to pay every claim. And we're not gonna retire at 65 and hand over something to someone else. And we, we, there wouldn't be any sense playing games on accounting because it would catch up with us later on. And uh, whereas, in many businesses, I don't think they have quite the same horizon on things. Uh, they do it at Coca-Cola or they do it at Gillette, but, but many companies are, are thinking about what kind of, I think, I'm afraid that more than you'd like, are thinking about what kind of little pictures they can paint for the next four quarters or so, and, and uh, uh, that's easy to do, but our problem is we're gonna be around a lot longer, we think, than four quarters, so that's not an option available to us, and, and we have to, we really run it as, uh, as if in the year 2050 or something, somebody's going to look and say, "Did how'd it work out?" Zone, uh, where are we? Five or six? Wherever the microphone is. 